we're switching back to English because we're going to talk to Jonathan Matos. He's the CEO of Send Drive, a company that uh, has just uh, launched a new app that uh, I think is going to give uh, a peace of mind, a lot of peace of mind, and it's going to help in, in many other ways. So how are you, uh, Jonathan? Uh, thank you. I'm great. Uh, thank you for, for having me on the call. No, thank you very much. So this you said your, your company has just launched uh, this Send Automotive it's Accident cool. Detection Service, which is based on a smartphone app, which is pretty cool. Can you tell us about it, please? Yeah, absolutely. So the Automatic Accident Detection Service is a piece of software that can be embedded in any mobile application on your smartphone. And if it is a part of that mobile application, it will detect automatically when there is an accident. Now, of course, we hope that you will never get into an accident, but if there is an accident, the first five or ten minutes right after the accident are really crucial. Yeah. And so our aim with this feature is to reduce the time of response and allow emergency services or towing services or even a, a, a loved person to know that something has happened. So you said that the software can be embedded into an app. So this is not the actual app. This is something that people have to develop into an app or how? Uh, I'm a little bit confused there. Yes. So it is uh, a software development kit. So yes, it is embedded into any application. But when we release this right now, we released it with a few partners that are embedding it into their application. Oh, okay. And the idea here... Yeah, and the idea is not to have one application that does it, but rather to have many, many applications so that we can help people no matter what app they're using. Oh, okay. So, um, if I understand right, these kind of services are already in some place, maybe on OnStar from uh, from uh, General Motors vehicles. Is, is this so, something similar to that? That's a good, very good way to compare this. Um, the OnStar service, however, is only effective when you are driving in a vehicle with OnStar enabled. And so, for instance, if you are in a taxi cab or if you have a car that doesn't offer OnStar, or if you are riding with a friend and there's an accident, you will not be protected by OnStar. But the way the technology works and the, safe, the, the, uh, the ease of mind that it provides is somewhat similar because just like OnStar, Any application that has our automatic data, uh, sorry, our automatic accident detection could dispatch help and could bring someone to help you when you need it most. Oh, okay, I understand now. So you don't have to own the car to have this on your phone. So you're as a passenger going out with friends to a party or something. You have this app in your phone. Unfortunately, something exactly. happens. And it's not that the owner's phone that is detecting the accident is not your own phone doing it. Yes, exactly. So, you know, a lot of parents have uh, uh, children in teenage age that are either driving themselves for the first time or are driving with other friends for the first time. And, you know, there is a lot of concern around their ability to, to react on time and to be cautious drivers on the road. And so this kind of feature would allow, for instance, a parent and, uh, and a teenage daughter or a teenage son to feel very confident no matter who is driving. As long as the, the teenage son or daughter has the phone on them, if there is an accident, the parents can know about it or an ambulance can be dispatched if, knock on wood, something happens. Okay, that's great. So where are some of the applications that are already out that people can download and start using it? Yes, so there are um, uh, three companies that have announced that they're using this. The first one is a company called Urgently. And what they do is they provide roadside assistance for towing or for fixing the car. And so they are embedding it and they have an application and soon we'll have that feature available. Yeah, um, so, uh, so yeah, sorry to interrupt, but we actually did talk to Urgently recently. Um, and it's a very interesting yep. concept and I think they have expanded their, their reach through another partnership with other companies. So that's great that this is growing because you can see how companies exactly. are collaborating in many different ways. So go ahead, I'm sorry. Exactly. Um, another very, very large partner is a company called eDriving, which is the biggest provider of online and mobile training for new drivers and for drivers that need to take a driving course. They have trained more than 10 million people. And so we hope that with them, uh, we can make the experience of first-time drivers on the road feel more safe. Um, 
Another company is a company called Lux Valet, which is uh, one of the most popular um, valet parking service that is now um, growing very quickly in San Francisco and Los Angeles. And the last one is a company called Hop Skip Drive, which is providing a service for uh, moving children and busy families around. So if you are a parent and you need to send your child to, let's say, go from high school to tennis class or from tennis class back home, and normally you would drive them yourself, if you're very busy, these guys will drive your child for you and all of their drivers are very safe and, and friendly uh, uh, individuals that are vetted for that kind of service. Wow, it's very interesting. I mean, because all of them serve more or less uh, the need of uh, some kind of need in a car, but a very different variants of services. So it's very, very interesting. As I said, I, I talked to the people from Urgently. and I didn't know about much about e-driving and locks. I, I heard about it. And actually today, I don't know if you read the news, there was a valet parking uh, in Rome, in Italy. I was driving a, a, a Ferrari and he crashed the car. Wow. So, so wow. The, the owner would have a, have a experienced this uh, in a very bad way. But I mean, at least I know the service service it works, I guess, huh? Yeah, it does, it does work. And we believe that this is just the beginning. If you think about it, um, I would love for this feature to be a part of my mapping application, my navigation application, or for my family network. Right? There's a lot of applications that can use this um, and make the driving experience feel safer and more secure. Yeah. So, Jonathan, your company specializes in, in, in developing this kind of uh, softwares, but um, do you also partner with some car manufacturers to, like, as you were saying, try to embed it into the actual navigation systems of the vehicles, of the new vehicles? Um, so, one of our big investors is BMW. And BMW is also a partner in developing this feature. So we tested this feature in the BMW crash test lab in Germany. So they have been involved with that. Um, we are also working with a variety of other players that either make cars or make uh, co you know, connected elements or technologies inside the car, but we can't announce those uh, products just yet. Yeah, no, I know. A lot of work in development, uh, but it's very yeah. fascinating to to hear all these new new technologies, new services that are coming out into the automotive industry. Um, at the moment that we're talking, I'm in Detroit talking uh, with uh, Shell for the Shell Eco Marathon, and uh, this is a competition between uh, high school and university kids and uh, students who are developing engines that can go up to like 500 plus miles per gallon. And these are like teenagers, so it's kind of wow. amazing to see how the automotive industry is moving very fast. And your field is also one of those things. One of the topics here is automotive driving also, like where are we going to get with that? And, and that's where you're going with some of your uh, software development, right? Yes, we want to help um, every driver and every car become safer. And we believe that the best way to do it is through data and analytics. And so at this stage, we are building a lot of features that focus on data and on analytics. And we believe that the entire future of transportation will change quite drastically once you start analyzing what's happening with the car and in the car. And so these are just the first of many features that we're working on And we're very excited to see that many application developers and car makers and other partners are excited about this. Yeah, amazing. We're talking to Jonathan Matus. He's the CEO of the company called Send Drive. And Jonathan, um, some of these technologies, or some of the manufacturers are saying that these technologies are going to lead in the near future. I mean, in near, I'm talking about the industry, uh, automotive industry years, so maybe five, ten years. Yeah. We're going to get into a point where we pretty much can see a world without accidents, right? I believe so. I believe that there's going to be a future where uh, driverless cars and where smartphones and where connected cars all work together to make the roads much safer. Um, you know, at the moment, there are more than 3,000 people that die on the road every day globally. That's a very large number. Yeah. And so if we can do anything to change that, 
And if we can do it by focusing on the technology that right now is in everyone's back pocket, which is the smartphone, I think we will be able to really move the needle and make the world a better and safer place. Well, it's a fascinating time to be working in the automotive industry. I mean, more for you because you're like doing the actual work, and but it's for me to like being able to report and meet people <laughs> like you and all that. So uh, congratulations on the work. Thank and, you. Um, is this a, the applications thank you, thank that you mentioned, are they already available? And then some of them have some, uh, I mean, people have to pay for them, right? Yeah, I think, uh, I think some of them are paid application, but for the most part, uh, they have a, a, also a free version. Oh, okay. And so I would encourage people to, to go and download them. I think that the updates to the application with our uh, new feature will come out very shortly. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. And uh, is there a web page we click where we can uh, share more information with the audience from your company? Absolutely. Our website is www.zendrive.com. And you can see there's a little video in the, in the background that explains uh, a little bit what we do. And if you tap on our services tab, you can also read more about accident detection. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Have a great day. My, my pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.